Entheogenesis australis has created this series of short videos describing a number of species of psilocybe and allied species found in Australia. In this video, I'm going to introduce and discuss the subtropical species Paneolus cyanesens. Hello, my name is Kane Barlow. I'm an Australian mycologist. I have a particular interest in the genus psilocybe, particularly Australian species. Paneolus cyanescens is known by the common name blue meanie, a term that originated in Australia. The term blue meanie refers to the blue meanies from the film The Yellow Submarine. The species was previously known as Coplandia cyanescens, uh, a term that you still come across quite often. Uh, people still use this uh, within literature. It's a fairly global species. Uh, introduced to tropical and subtropical areas through cattle and, and horses. The species occurs in fairly much the same habitat and environment as Psilocybe commences, and they quite often grow side by side. It's thought that the genus Paneolus uh, gained the ability to synthesize psilocybin through horizontal gene transfer uh, so they, the genus did not evolve this itself, um, but collected it <laughs> through, through association with, with growing around psilocybe. Pharmacologically speaking, uh, Steve uh, from 1992 reported that the species contains psilocybin uh, between 0.17% to 0.95% percent dry weight and psilocybin at 0.16 percent to 0.19 percent dry weight. Hence probably why they're reported to be so potent uh, because psilocybin crosses the blood brain barrier very very quickly and so it probably comes on very quickly as well. Historically, uh, the species is thought to have originated in Asia. Uh, it was described in Sri Lanka in 1871. Uh, it was originally named Agaricus cyanescens uh, by Berkeley and Broom. It was named Coplandia cyanescens by Singer in 1951. Coplandia is a, no longer a valid genus name. Uh, so the name has reverted to Paneolus. Cicado had named uh, Paneolus cyanescens in 1887. The species grows in open grassland. In Australia, it's an introduced species. Uh, they're found growing from cow pies, uh, so either really well, you know, fresh cow pies or, or well decomposed cow pies. The species requires rain and humid conditions to be able to fruit. They're found in Queensland, northern New South Wales, uh, likely to be found in the Northern Territory and also northern Western Australia. Uh, again, we're lacking detail on this, uh, in the same way that we're lacking some of those details on Psilocybe commences. The season uh, is during that rainy, kind of humid period, uh, November to February. The next couple of photographs uh, show Paneola cyanescens uh, within their habitat. So here is an example growing from, from cow dung. Uh, you can see the blue bruising on the stem uh, and you can see the grey coloured gills. Uh, Paneolus means mottled gills. Uh, here's another photograph of a specimen growing from, from cow dung in open grassland. Taxonomically speaking, Paneolus cyanescens. Uh, the cap is at first hemispheric, expanding to campanulate to convex. Uh, they have an incurved margin when they're young, and this kind of unfurls with age. Uh, they're light brown in colour, fading to off-white or light grey at maturity. The gills they have a broadly adnate to adnex attachment, and they're quite close. 
you can see in the image on the, on the right hand side that they're quite dense. Uh, they're grey in colour, turning black as the spores mature. Uh, the gill faces have a mottled appearance, uh, as per the, the genus name Paniolus. The stem, uh, it has an equal width, uh, but the base is slightly enlarged. Uh, it had a, has a powdery texture and coloured in, like the cap. Uh, this photograph has a few specimens showing, showing many of these features. You can see the even stem, uh, the cap, you can see the, the blue bruising, and you can see the, the dark coloured gills. In terms of lookalikes, uh, there are many like lookalikes for uh, Paniolus cyanesens, um, primarily other Paniolus species. There are many Paniolus species that are not active, are in the same kind of habitat, uh, and they, they, go, they can be confused. Other species are Strafaria species, Sathiorella species, and, and quite possibly some Agrosomy species. Thank you for joining me today as we've explored a number of Australian Thylosophy species.